Today I'm gonna show y'all how to taper some pants real quick. It took me about every part of five minutes. The only thing you need is an iron. You really don't need that if you wanna be honest. Nah, you need an iron, a sewing machine, and a scene ripper. I need to make a video on how to use a uh, sewing machine. Maybe. You just need to practice at it, baby. It ain't nothing too hard. Right, so I'm just ironing down because I don't want to sew over the wrinkles. If I sew over the wrinkles, it's liable to mess up my, my product. And I don't want my product messed up. So anyway, doing this, I'm, I'm just taking the flare out. And when I say flare, it's kind of like a little flare. I'm just tapering them at the bottom. So I'm going to really start at the knee and work my way down. Now, if I was going to make them skinny, I'd start in the crotch area at that inseam and work all the way down. And My son only ate, you know, he go to recess, man. He can't play in skinny jeans, skinny skinny school pants. You don't need them anyway. But anyway, what I do is most people use a ruler. I just eyeball it. That's all I do. I eyeball the whole thing. One of the most important things you need to do, like how I'm, how I'm marking it off, you always want to start on the existing thread already and work your way from that. Always do that. Always. Now here go my seam rip. I'm just gonna take the cuff out because I'm gonna redo the cuff. Now the pants are a decent length for the most part, but and sometimes I'd even keep the cuff in and just sew over it, but just, just for the day, just for presentation purposes. I'm gonna take the seam. And I ain't gonna lie, I was struggling with the, taking the seams out. I said, man, I was halfway through. I said, you know what? I should have just left them in here, but it is what it is. I ain't tripping. Alright, last one I got out. I struggled with this today. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that right there tucked under. Don't want that exposed. That's where it'll, it'll rip at. So here come the easy part, man. Just gonna load it on the machine, follow my guide, and zoop doop doop. Ball game. And it's a little harder with kid pants. I learned that when I was doing these, just as far as doing a cuff. Cause you know in adult pants the whole the whole hem could fit underneath un around the uh, sewing machine at the bottom. So watch how fast this go. It's just one leg. Went forward, locked it in, going the whole way. Look at that. Simple as that. Now I could have stopped right here. I could have kept going. I don't know what I did. Did I stop? Did I keep going? It don't matter. And sometimes, like I say, like if. I would have kept going. I could have just cut the inseam and kept that seam aligned. So then if his legs get bigger, I could just take the thread out and then put it back to his original space. I should have used a darker thread. Y'all can't see that. Can y'all see that? I used a gold thread. I thought that was going to show on the gray. Should have just used some black. That's the other side. And now here go my part where I'm going to do the hem. Remember, uh, the hem, yeah, the cuff. Now he didn't have a blind hem. Which some of his pants do, some of them don't. I don't know why. You know, they come from the same place. So, uh, for his him, you can flip the pants inside out. And they already had a spot where, the, where you could see where the thread was already located for the pants. Like right there, you could you could already see it. So that's just my guideline. If they wasn't a guideline, I just do it like I want to anyway. It ain't no, baby. This is this is not difficult. See where the cuff at? Now, typically you can iron that, iron that cuff down, but it, like the, it was already there, so I didn't even bother ironing it. And right here, here goes. It's just easy, man. I don't know. This ain't that hard. How long did it take me to do this, though? I should have timed. I think it's how long this video is. That's how long it took me to do it. Five minutes, 41 seconds. Yeah, so that's pretty much the gist of it, man. 
Oh, one thing I did mention is that uh, I didn't use a zigzag pattern like I do for other stuff. I use a straight line. I think it was like number eight or nine on the machine. And the tension was like full. Can you see how much I took out of one leg into the other? Pretty obvious when you line them up. I'm going to let my model show you. Where you at, model? Oh, there he is. Look at that. You see the difference in the left one and the right one? Look at that. Blam! Too much flare. Don't want that. Nice.